Now for this first part then, we're told to sketch a speed time graph for this girl who runs 400 meters in 84 seconds. So make sure you draw your horizontal axis for time, label it in seconds, and your vertical axis speed, and that's measured in meters per second. And we're told then that this girl starts from rest. So we start from here and after four seconds, she reaches a speed of five meters per second and she attains this by a constant acceleration. So expect a straight line to go from here up to five meters per second after four seconds. So we need to label this at five meters per second after four seconds. So when she reaches this speed of five meters per second, she then goes at a constant speed for a further 60 seconds. So a further 60 seconds is going to take us to 64 and it should be a horizontal line through here. So when we get to here, this will be say 64 seconds. And then she moves with constant deceleration for a further 20 seconds. So a further 20 seconds is going to take us to 84 seconds along here. And constant deceleration is going to mean that it's a straight line coming downwards. And she crosses the finishing line with a speed of v meters per second. So she's not coming to rest here. So we just bring this down to some point down here, say over the 84. And then if we travel back along here, this value here will be v. Okay, so that's essentially it. But you might want to just add a few more bits to this. You might want to write a solid line or a dotted line down to here. It's up to you. So you can either have solid or dotted line. But you don't have to put anything in there really. Um, what else? You might want to also put in the fact that because it was a 400 meter race, remember that the area under the graph represents that distance. So you might want to put that that's 400 meters in. But there you go. Essentially, as long as you've got this red line here and the times across here and your V and five, I would have thought that would be sufficient. Okay?